So here we are on the old canyon trail. So we're heading off for today. Getting started here at 7.30 in the morning. Try to uh, get out here and beat the heat. We'll see how things go today. You're looking up toward the canyon, looking straight in the sun for you. So, Jeep's over there, so here we go. We'll see how this day plans out. Hopefully it turns out to be a good hike. We've been walking right by a ranch. As you get on that trail, you go up the trail just look. Maybe two tents. You'll see a sign that says private property. You're crossing. So. There's a private property we're still skirting by. That must be the people that stay over at the ranch. Spurred to come over and hit the trail. It drops you over into a little creek and been following that creek now for just a little while. Very beautiful in here. And this canyon is beautiful. It is beautiful. We've been walking in and out of this brush. And you get these spectacular views of the canyon. canyon. So it probably wash that out, but it sure is pretty. Sure is pretty. Well, we're about a maybe a mile and a tenth or so. I don't really know for sure. But there's a set of runs up there in the cliffs. Well, we've been working up the trail here. It is uh, quite sandy in some places. So it kind of makes it a little tough on walking. So Kathy behind me. So we're just kind of cruising along here. Good thing about it, you're in and out of shade. Of course here around Sedona, as that sun gets up, the temperature starts uh, jumping up from a cold start. So it don't take long for you to get warm. Pretty nice trail so far, though. All right, on up the trail we go. Alrighty, canyon's starting to narrow up. We're steadily climbing. 
Temperature's cooled back off down in here. Check this out. Is it cool? Wow. Were there water done that or what? All the little shells and bows. Around a three and a half mark. Nice little campsite. We come out of that narrow part of the canyon and get this confluence of other canyons. So we're still climbing though. Okay, we've been at it two hours. We started a steep climb. So it's about 4.2 miles where you start the steep climb. Somewhere in there. So, back off, break. A little water before we hopefully finish the climb out. Alright, we made it up to the first switch back on the steep climb. So the trail pretty much goes straight up for this a little ways. Then you start to switch back. That's your first view. Big view. Nice and cool. Here's the valley we've been walking up right there. The trail should be right. Uh, I think finger up there. Right there in those trees is the trail. So. Kathy in the distance ahead of me there. Alright, so let's keep climbing. Mercy, it's gorgeous up here though. We took a little pack off break. About the middle of that first little steep stuff. I wish we'd come with and walked up here. Whew. Mercy, that's pretty. Here, let's get out here. And here's your look down. That is gorgeous. Bay Canyon. Up we go. Switch back number three, real short. There's looking up the trail. Alright, let's keep climbing. Switch back number four. We're getting real tight now. Lots of ankle breaker was down through there. A lot of little loose rocks. Turn number five. If I can do this without killing myself. Yep. Oh, nice view. Carry water up here. Beautiful place to camp. For sure. Wow. Look at that. The trail's been going around that way. Let's walk out of this view. Wow, wow, wow. That is gorgeous. A little pan around here. 
Awesome. All right, you see Miss Kathy over there under the overhang. Back this all the way out. So after number five, you're basically skirting around the, kind of the top side of this canyon. There's the tops. So we're still not at the top yet, so we're still technically working our way up Bay Canyon. So pretty awesome. Ooh, look at Prickly Pear. Well, the legs get a little rest after that, after the switchbacks. Ooh, is it cool looking? Wow. Well, we're still climbing. Use lose a little bit of elevation on that flight spot going down. Then you climb right back again. Pretty steep gully in there. We'll bob ball fence up here for something. All right. We're about to work our way up to this saddle and the end of the trail. So, all right, here we're at the end of the trail. I was calling it fake cannon up there a while ago, and it's actually low cannon. <laughs> Oil cannon, however you pronounce it, I don't know. So, Secret Mountain Trailhead up that way. Well, we took a little break to it. Secret Mountain Saddle. Climb up here on the top of that mountain. 
Whew, I'm out of breath. Out of breath and dry. Trying to conserve water there. So, so we'd come up here and just look around a little bit. It's supposed to be a cabin up here, but I don't know if we're going to walk to all the trail since it's another four miles. Well, here's what's left of the secret cabin. Off down in the confluence of, looks like two drainages. That's a drainage going out. The snow could probably pile up pretty deep in here in the wintertime, but that was home to somebody. The uh, all trail says it's 4.3 from that other, from the uh, saddle over there, but I don't think it's that far. It's probably about two miles over here. Not a bad walk. I didn't film any from the, from the saddle up there down to the secret cabin. Probably should have because this is uphill. That's all downhill. But we're going to walk to these Montezulu, probably butchering that name for sure, plants, trees, whatever they are, bushes. They're sure pretty. That red bark on them. So. Climb going back is not too bad, I don't think. Lots of little ups in there. So, we'll shoot a little more video. There it is, I think I knew we'd come by this, uh, this dam in here. Let me get a picture of it. Right down in there. There you go. I don't know if the Forest Service put that in here for firefighters or that was in there for water for the secret cabin. Who knows? Well, there's no tank we're walking by. Of course, it's dry. That may be the tank that shows on all trail to be off the trail, which I think we walked right by it. So. Okay, here we are back at the saddle. Fixing to head back down the canyon. Yeah, see, I pronounced that like wrong like 20 times. Loy. Loy Canyon Trail with an L. With an L. Man. The brain just doesn't function some days. Alright. So. We made it over to Secret Cabin and back, and uh, didn't feel many going over, so it's kind of going to be in reverse order as we wrap it up. But that's just the way it worked out. Wasn't for sure how far that cabin was. All trails said it was 4.3, but it's actually about two miles over there. Not a bad walk. So if you get up this, climb up here, you got plenty of water. Go look at the cabin.